Hey, this is Dan inside Xbox's Mr. Pointyhead here with AC Bongos in the heart of Twycross to visit Rare Studios. Yeah, it's a pretty special day because if you know anything about Rare, you'll know they're a pretty secretive developer. Got some great titles on Xbox 360 already. Uh, Perfect Dark, Cameo, Viva Pinata. Yep. And we're here today to see a couple of new things coming up. Yeah, we're here to see the sequel to Viva Pinata and Banjo. Yeah, it's going to be brilliant, eh? It should be sweet. So we're going to meet George, who's Rare's community manager. He's expecting us, right? Yeah, I spoke to him on the phone only five minutes ago. Perfect. All okay. right, let's, let's go, go and find him. A bit strange. Yeah, where is everyone? Yeah, I don't know. Hello? The entire place is empty. Back upstairs, I think. Anything? No. There's no one here at all, mate. The place is deserted. Should we split up? I guess so. I'll head through there. You go through. Okay, mate. See, See you soon, later, mate. Yeah, yeah. some of the banjo team, this place seems deserted. Yeah, come on, come on. I'm Salvatore Fulcher and I'm lead software engineer on Banjo. Banjo, who is uh, the main character obviously, he's a bear and uh, he has his uh, best friend and companion Kazooie, who's a Brigo living in his backpack. They battle against Gruntilda, who's the, the wicked witch of the story and their adversary. Banjo and Grunty are still fighting it out, so We've got a new character, Lord of Games, or Log as we like to call him, uh, who wants to settle this once and for all, so he's taking Banjo and uh, Gruntilda and transported them to Showdown Town, and uh, they're going to duel it out and see who wins Spiral Mountain to keep. When we started making the game, we uh, didn't want to just make another standard platformer in the mould of old. We wanted to evolve the platform genre, so uh, yeah, there's quite a lot of changes in there, which we hope are for the better, obviously. Um, Probably the biggest of those is that um, Kazooie's moves have been removed and they've been replaced by blocks in the game. And these blocks are essentially like Lego with power. And they're magic blocks, they allow you to build creations, various vehicles, four wheel vehicles, two wheel vehicles, land air sea vehicles, so you've got planes, helicopters, boats. It's always been important for this team that we have a broad appeal game, uh, so we want it to be very accessible to the novice player, but at the same time we want to have depth there, so there is a lot of longevity for the experienced player, for people that want to take time in constructing their vehicles and customise them. Obviously we are trying to aim for satisfying all the Banjo fans, as well as that we're aiming for a new audience and we hope that we'll be able to draw people in with this game alone, not with basing it on the previous games. It will feature live support, we have that in uh, various forms. I can't go into the exact details just now, but yeah, we've got the guys beating away working on live. Well, uh, all things going according to plan, which they are at the moment, we're looking to release mid-November. <laughs> 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 